Well, that didn't take very long. About 20 minutes after uploading yesterday's video about the upcoming Symmetra changes, they happened. She's available on the PC PTR, and everything we talked about has gone through. But I figured it made sense to actually show you these changes and then go into detail about what they are, talk about the numbers, and then wrap things up with giving you some of my first impressions after playing her for a bit. So let's go through all of her new changes. First off, she's got two new abilities, the first of which is Photon Barrier which replaced the photon shield. So the personal shields that she used to give allies aren't around anymore, replaced by this barrier, which is a large energy barrier similar to Reinhardt's shield that moves forward at the same walking speed as an average hero, and it blocks enemy fire as it travels forward. The barrier will move until it's destroyed, which it appears to have about a thousand health, or until it collides into a wall. It's that central object that has to collide, not the edges of the barrier itself. So this can be used for all sorts of things. The most obvious though is walking with it to push towards the enemy, to push towards points. It allows you to close the gap on the enemy. It allows you to get through spots where previously you needed a Reinhardt barrier or a D.Va defense matrix for example. And it allows you in short distances and small engagements to actually block enemy fire or special abilities like a Roadhog hook or a McCree flashbang. It's very very useful in engaging enemies in one verse one. I found this to be a very fun ability to play around with. Now her other new ability is the second ultimate shield generator. This works like you build up a normal ultimate charge, but once it's full, you have a choice between the teleporter or the shield generator, and you just toggle between the two by hitting Q a second time. Now the shield generator is placed on the ground and provides 75 additional shield to any allies within its effective radius. That radius is huge, and it also also isn't obstructed by line of sight. Barriers, walls, obstacles, doesn't matter. As long as they're within this range, which as far as I can tell, it looks to be somewhere between, I wanna say 50 and 60 meters in distance. I tested out the distance in the practice range, and as you can see, it is rather significant. Now, essentially what happens is, once you move out of its range, after a few seconds, it'll drop off, but the, the range is just nuts. It's absolutely crazy. I don't know the exact measurement, but again, I believe it's between 50 and 60 meters if I were to try to guesstimate. This means when you're placing it in your matches, you can be pretty liberal with it because it's going to extend a very far away. You can place it really far away from the battle. The photon projector also had to change. Its range was increased from 5 meters to 7 meters, which that is once more a rather significant change. Two additional meter distance with you, that you can attack the enemy with with your basic attack. And as we know, if Symmetra gets her basic attack on you, there's a good chance you're dead because that thing is so very strong and the, and she has two extra meters now that she can stay locked onto you if you try to run away. Sentry turrets were also adjust a little bit. The number of turrets that you can carry used to be capped at three. It is now capped at six and the cooldown for the charge has gone from 12 seconds to 10 seconds. Uh, teleporter did also get adjusted. The health has been decreased from 200 to 50 but they've added 350 shields. So the total health is much more and most of those are shields which effectively makes it better. So those are all of the changes that have happened to Symmetra. Now, after playing some matches, how do I feel about her? Well, she's certainly a hell of a lot better. Now, one big interesting thing is going to be that decision between Teleporter and Shield Generator. I feel that when she comes out and people are first starting to play her, they're always going to pick Shield Generator, and it is really good. The range is massive, line of sight is not needed, and 75 extra shields for your entire team is tremendous. You add on top of that a Torbjorn on your team, giving everyone armor, and you're looking at some crazy crazy health pools for heroes. I mean, 300 health tracers, for example. It's a really interesting change. I'm gonna be very interested to see with these new, much larger potential health pools, uh, what we're seeing people pick in games. I really love the idea of a Symmetra and Torbjorn combo. That, um, that much extra effective health is just absolutely crazy. The other thing that I've noticed about her is the, ch the changes in her photon projector range, as well as the addition of her new ability, that photon barrier. I feel a lot more comfortable in 1v1 situations now. It's the case where I can walk towards an enemy and engage with them and try to assume when they're going to flashbang or when they're going to hook to toss out that barrier and negate it. And the fact it's it's worked on several occasions in the few games that I've played with her so far. It's very similar to the mind games played between a Genji and a McCree when it's in a close range situation. It's going to be basically who pulls the trigger first. Uh, all around, Symmetra feels a hell of a lot better. I've enjoyed my games with her so far. 
far. I basically use nothing but the shield generator because it feels so very strong. That was also in places where maybe it would have made more sense to put the teleporter, but maybe not because 75 more health for your entire team means that instead of dying and having to run back and use the teleporter, they just stay alive because everyone's that much tankier. I'm almost honestly curious if in many ways shield generator will just replace teleporter for that very reason. What's better? Make your team tankier and less likely to die or let them die and allow them to come back through the teleporter? I am tend I tend to lean towards keeping your entire team alive in the first place. So I'm really curious to see how it plays out. Either way, uh, new Symmetra is great. Lots of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay and hope you have a good afternoon. I'll see you guys later.